The fast nanotechnology mask that can destroy COVID-19 has been developed in Kenya. The blue double-layer face mask that kills bacteria, viruses and contact can be washed multiple times without losing its antimicrobial qualities, according to a Kenyan scientist, Dr. Joseph Nderito Harachime, with more. The blue double-layer face mask may look like your normal face mask, but they are fortified by nanoparticles embedded in the fabric that kills viruses and bacteria on contact. Once the cotton has been, the weaving and, and, and all that has been done, then before you go into the dyeing process and the, and the finishing process, that's when now it goes into the, into the treatment process where it's, it's, it, it's treated under very high pressure and uh, very high temperatures so that the entire fabric is evenly uh, impregnated with the nanoparticles. Using a treated mosquito net analogy, the Kenyan scientist and innovator, Dr. Joseph Nderitu, explains exactly how these nanomasks work. Why, is it, why do we believe it's, it, it works? Why do we believe that uh, it's, it's an important health preven prevention uh, tool? Because uh, there, there are those non-treated mosquito nets which uh, the mosquito might be able to squeeze through and, 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 and reach <laughs> the person that so that's exactly the same thing that's happening for the non-treated face mask the same way that the mosquito might be able to squeeze through the net is the same way that this uh, an untreated mask might might still predispose you to to COVID-19 when you're using it and this is the same way that now the face mask the material from which the face mask is created upon contact because of the impregnation with the nanoparticles it's it's going to to, to destroy the, the microbes that are accumulating on, on, the, uh, on the surface of, of the face mask. The Ministry of Health through the National Microbiology Reference Laboratory has tasted the fabric and given the mask a thumbs up. The material that he brought in the lab was um, um, about three types of, uh, five types of materials uh, treated in different strengths of the, the nanoparticles. and. Um, we were able to test the, the fabric and see whether the, the bacteria will be killed by the nanoparticles that diffuses into the media. So basically that's what we did and we actually we got very, very good results. For me as a medical microbiologist, I think that's the way to go. The protective equipment, reusable 100 times, is now trading Astira Nanomask which go for 550 shillings each due to the high cost of production in Nakuru through textile manufacturer Bedi Investments. Now, this mask may look like your ordinary mask. As Dr. Joseph Neritu has just told us, this nanomedicine technology is one step ahead towards eradicating infectious diseases. Reporting for Switch TV, my name is Harriet Chimea.